Welcome to your new home, babe. I think I'm gonna like it here. My murdering father's will is being read and I'm certain to inherit a sizable nest egg. Want to come and witness my phoenix-like rise from the depths of poverty? Hell yeah. I'm in. So my bestie's back. I have the world's hottest girlfriend and I'm the lead in the musical. The only thing left to do is prove to this godforsaken school and town that I'm still the HBIC I've always been. Despite my mother's Margaret White-like efforts to break me. Scratch that. Carrie's mom may have locked her in a closet, and Carrie may have crucified her mother with a bunch of butcher knives, but at least they loved each other. I'm not sure if I can say the same. Cut. Uh... I thought I heard an angel singing. I come bearing grand bisou. Both literal and figurative. So, how did it go with your mom? Raves across the board for my performance. Also, she and Uncle Claudius will be decamping from Thistle House to live with the ghost of my dead father. You? are so hot right now. Tell me something I don't know. See you after the show. So this is where you've been hiding out. Tony, how did you find me? It took me a minute. Then I thought, this is exactly where I would be if my Nana was in the hospital. Cheryl? What is it? I'm so exhausted. And Tony, I am here for my Nana, but not in the way you think. I want to make sure my mother and Uncle Claudius don't come by to hurt her. Finish what they started when they pushed her down the stairs. Please, you're gonna adore these new raglans I got for you. It's too late, Veronica. The vixens are already endorsing Team Rosie. Oh, huh. Josie, Veronica, how about you two table this ridiculous rivalry so you can help me find Cheryl? I'm off doing something fabu. Leave a message, if you must. Cheryl, this is like the 10th message I've left. Wherever you are, I hope you're hearing this. My voice telling you that I'm right there, right by your side. You're not alone, Cheryl. Not ever again. Oh, you poor child.